Molueni, Salibunani, Kujan. Easy, man. Let's get started. So, think I'm trying to work bandu. I'm trying to work bandu. You FaceTime here. Make sure you come right here. She under here. You subscribe, okay? Let's get started. So, now the question say, answer the following questions, okay? How the question say, if M men can move 500 boxes in one day. Oh, so M means it could be seven number because say, M orange means five orange, ten orange, seven orange. So we don't know this M how many of them. You see what I'm saying? So we don't know. Can move 500 boxes in, in one day. Now, how many men? So now we don't know how many men we're looking for. We needed to move X boxes. Means now we don't know number of boxes now, okay? In one day. So this question is very easy, guys. It's a like primer school question. So what you do, list the number. Men. So there's a man, name, man, in another boxes. And the last one is what? Number of days. That is the question. Now. M men, men are M. How many box? Five hundred box. And then in one day, how many number of days? One day, one. Now we come for the second one. How many men means we don't know this. How many number of men will need it to move X boxes? Number of box now is X. How many days? One day. If it's two, you write two. If it's three, you write according to what they have given to you. So what you gonna do now? You cross. Remember, you're looking for how many means this uh, comma. I mean this question mark. So what you do, you cross, you write cross here, you cross. So, and then, you see how I cross, so you multiply based on the line of a cross. So what we're looking for, we multiply, excuse me, question mark, multiply by 500, multiply by one. It must be equal to this M multiplied by X, multiply by one but anything multiplied by one is that like mx one it's like mx because two times one is two so anything times one is that so we're looking for this comma because look how many number of men so we divide by 500 throughout but by 500 because we don't need this 500 go so now we left you what we're looking for because this we don't need we don't need divide divide so now it's going to be mx over 500 because this is this cancer so comma equal to mx over 500 which is this one here so this is the face because this is not this is not uh, this is not nah, only mx of 500 so this is so now we still have to do the second part which is b okay so let's go for the second part now okay so for the second part here is this also. you do the same trick so but you have to read the question in a factory 15 of every 300 light bulbs so every 15 out of 300 bulbs were defective means they were not working you know were not defective at the same rate if 608 bulbs so now they increase like we want to test more bulbs how many of them would not be defective so we want to test 308 so we want to see how many of them they're gonna be working means in other way they are effective ones so what you do now don't deal with a lot of things at once because it's going to confuse you, okay? So, me patient, huh? this I'm going to do. How many things I got? I got bulb and defective. So, I'm going to say defective and bulb. Okay, how many defective? If we test 300 bulb, we're going to have 15 defective. But if we test 680, we don't know how many defective. Let's find the defective face, and then when you get the defective, we're going to find the one which are not defective. So, I'm going to cross multiplication x times 300 um, uh, it's not uh, qu uh, question mark times 300 is like 300 question mark times 15 times 6 80 so i'm looking for this question mark so divide by 300 throughout divide by 300 this in this council so if you put this in a calculator it's going to give you 34 so 34 if we test 680 about 34 they're going to be defective means they're not working but if you go to the question, they want the one which are not defective. In other words, the one which are effective. So I'm gonna take all the bulb. If I test 680, and these are not, and these are defective, means if we wanna know the one which are not defective, or in other words, the effective one, I'm gonna take 680 minus 34. If you take 680 minus 34, you're gonna get 646, which are not defective. In other words, the effective one. So this is gonna be my answer. You see what I'm saying? So easy, man. It just waste your time. You do this question. 
It is easy like that, man. Thanks a lot. Of you know what I'm saying? Look, man, I believe in learning from how to do things. If it's time, make sure you subscribe and, you know, you can just go and do donation to our Patreon page. I have a Patreon. I have a GoFundMe. You know what I'm saying? I have all the means of donation because to make this project going, you know, any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change. And thanks a lot for all your time. You know, subscribe. Don't forget, share this video, circulate to a lot of people. You know, because the meaning of this project, this program, is to help as many as we can. Okay? It's not only for one patient or two. Because you might think it's not helpful for you. But for somebody next out there, it could be very, very helpful. So thanks a lot, man. And you know, any donation that you did to me, it means so much. I appreciate it, man. It means a lot. Go to our Patreon page. Go to our uh, GoFundMe because we need to have a, you know, a lot of things we need to put them together like camera, you know, and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on, you know, a lot of angle, a lot of aspects of these projects, you know. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it and I love you. Peace and love. Bye. You know, this is one of my children of knowledge, you know, she wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Kamri. Yeah. I uh, yeah, toy number bunch. Toy number bunch. Toy number bunch is everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my other son. His name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, yeah, he's great level, man. So his aim is to score distinction, right? So you promise, I want you to score distinction this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua, well, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> distinction? <laughs> yeah, so toy number bunch is everywhere, man. Toy number bunch. Everywhere. Toy number bunch is everywhere. Everywhere. Huh? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. If you had to give advice, man, which advice would you give uh, to the people? Or two decisions. Trust Hamish. <laughs> why, why would it trust me? No, because it's really good. They actually has helped a lot. Uh, first, I, I read it first year for maths. It was my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Hamish said lots of hard questions, and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff. You like, just want to get done, but it's mm. the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamish. Thank you, and um, wish you all the best with your hard work. And just, I just wanna say we appreciate you. And uh, we have, I have achieved like ninety-three percent. Sanmanani, Sanmanani, Sanmanani. This is Uema Onokula Wamkizis Mongo. I live in Devon in KwaZulu Natal and I was born in Kwasabisa in KwaZulu Natal. Hello everyone, this is Uketele Numvalo from A. Johannesburg Emigrant. I'm studying through E. I would like to thank Mr. Hamish for helping us so, so much. We have actually got 90 to 100% on that. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamish Siabong. <laughs>